Are you thinking of switching to the menstrual cup and stop using pads or tampons? In this video, I'm going to share with you my experience with using the menstrual cup for the past three months. On the screen, you will see the timelines of this video. I'll start by talking about why did I decide to switch to the menstrual cup and stop using pads. Then I'll be talking about which menstrual cup did I buy, how was my experience overall putting the menstrual cup in and putting it out, I'll be talking about my struggles, the folds that I use in order to get the menstrual cup in, and at the end I'll be sharing you my final thoughts on using the menstrual cup for the past 3 months. Why did I decide to start using a menstrual cup and stop using pads? There are 4 main reasons why I decided to start using a menstrual cup. The first one is that using a menstrual cup is a more eco-friendly alternative. If you think about how many pads or tampons you use every single month, that's a lot of waste and that's not good for the environment. However, if you use a menstrual cup, because menstrual cups last up till 10 years, you can use a menstrual cup for the next 10 years, which means that you won't be generating waste and you will be saving money. Which brings me to my second reason, saving money. As I shared with you before, you can use a menstrual cup for the next 10 years because menstrual cups are reusable. Therefore, you will be saving a lot of money. And let's be real, who doesn't want to save money? You can use that for a trip or if you want to invest it or if you want to buy something else, you can use that money for that, which is pretty great. The third reason is the great reviews. I remember that at some point there were a lot of girls on social media sharing their experience with using the menstrual cup. They were swearing by this product, sharing how comfortable it was using a menstrual cup, how some of them got less cramps, and how some of them forgot that they were on their period, which to me was mind-blowing because who forgets that they are on their period? You have blood coming out of your cell, you feel bloated, and Sometimes you have a lot of acne, so I was like, you know, I want to try it out. I want to see it for myself. I want to see if this product is as good as you're sharing with us because I don't believe it. Like, I want to I try it out. I want to see it for myself. Which brings me to my fourth reason, having a better menstruation experience. As I shared with you before, there were a lot of people online and I got even friends sharing their experiences with a menstrual cup and swearing by this product and telling me how good it was and that I had to switch to the menstrual cup and stop using pads because it was that good so I was like okay I'm going to give it a try I did my research and I decided to buy a menstrual cup to see if it was true which menstrual cup did I buy there are so many great options in the market and after a lot of research I decided to go with the organic cup which is made out of medical grade silicon it had great reviews online it was affordable and they even had a tutorial on how to put the menstrual cup in which for me was very important and it made me feel reassured they have three different sizes, the mini cup which is for teens or smaller size, the size A which is recommended for people that had never given birth, and the size B which is for women that have given birth. If you're wondering how the organic cup looks like, they sent it to you in this cardboard like kind of box and when you open it you can see that here they have information about what is your organic cup how do you use it and really good questions like it's very informative so don't throw away this cardboard you open it like this and you will find the organic cup inside this is a menstrual cup that I have already used, so yeah, that's why it's not completely closed. This cardboard is a lifesaver because they show you step by step how you can insert the menstrual cup, for how long you can wear the menstrual cup in, how to remove the menstrual cup, and of course how to sterilize your organic cup. It's very useful and I just love this, like they have a really great concept and another thing that i love about the organic cup is the pouch everything you have to do is sterilize your menstrual cup and put it in this bag and you can bring it with you wherever you go now let's move into sterilizing your menstrual cup before using your menstrual cup you have to sterilize it and the way that you do it is that you take a pot 
that you're not going to use to cook any food because it's gross just use a different one you put water there you let it boil once the water is boiling you put your menstrual cup in and in the case of the organic cup they recommend you to let it boil for three to five minutes do not leave your menstrual cup for longer it's not recommended you might burn it then you take it out you can let it dry or you can dry it with a clean towel and then you can use it of course the menstrual cup has to be a little bit colder do not put your menstrual cup in right away after you sterilize it because you might hurt yourself can you sterilize your menstrual cup by using a microwave? The answer is no, because you have to let the water reach 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's a little bit hard to reach with a microwave. So it's highly recommended for you to sterilize your menstrual cup by using a pot and a stove. How was it like putting the menstrual cup in for the first time? Inserting the menstrual cup for the first time was something very hard for me. It took me a while to be able to use the menstrual cup and if you're also struggling to put the menstrual cup in, what you can do is try putting the menstrual cup in the shower because it's easier to insert the menstrual cup when it's wet. You can lie in bed, stretch your legs, inhale, exhale, breathe, relax because if your muscles are contracting, you're going to have a very hard time putting your menstrual cup in and it's going to hurt a lot which you don't want to so just relax breathe and then try putting the menstrual cup in you can try putting your menstrual cup in the bathroom or standing up and putting like one feet in a chair and just like you know you put it like that if it still doesn't work you can try using loop you can try different folds and if after all of this you still cannot get your menstrual cup in it might be because of two reasons the first one being that you're using the wrong size so you have to buy a smaller menstrual cup size or if you're a virgin it might be because your hymen is not broken which is a tissue that normally breaks the first time you have sex if this is your case try putting the menstrual cup in you might need to break it which is going to hurt a lot but once you do that, it's just going to go inside easily. If not, you can buy a smaller size and put your menstrual cup in. I hope that this works. I struggled a lot and I tried different things and it finally worked, but it wasn't easy. <laughs> you need to be really patient when putting your menstrual cup in for the first time. I know that this is not a case for everyone, but my experience was a hard one at first I almost gave up and I almost went back to using pads because I couldn't get it in and it hurt a lot and I was like what am I doing wrong now that you're not the only one try different things try different folds and if you still cannot get in it's because you're using the wrong size how do you insert the menstrual cup first you have to wash your hands because you know hygiene first then you take your menstrual cup out after sterilizing it what you can do is wet your menstrual cup before using it as I told you before because it's going to be easier or you can add loop to make it easier for you to insert the menstrual cup now you're going to fold your menstrual cup there are different folds that you can use in order to insert your menstrual cup there is the C fold which is this one or also known as U-fold depends on how you see it this is a C or a U I personally do not understand why people would use this fold because I could not get my menstrual cup in with this fold I decided to do my research and I found that the punch down fold was the best fit for me how you do the punch fold is that you're going to punch it now you're going to bring the menstrual cup to you and then you take your finger out and it is going to look like this like a taco in some way now you'll be asking yourself how do i insert the menstrual cup in first thing that you need to know is in which hole you're going to insert your menstrual cup in because there are two different holes there is one that is for your pee to come out and there's the other one that is for your vagina so here's your vagina 
you're going to insert it like this once it's in you're going to take your fingers out and you're going to start pushing like in here you're going to start pressing until it pops and I'm going to show you again so that you can listen to the sound you make the fold you put it in you start pressing did you listen to that? it's going to make a similar sound it's going to pop sometimes it doesn't make the sound but most of the times it does what I do all the time is that I breathe I inhale, I exhale and just I relax so that it's easier for the menstrual cup to go inside how do you avoid leaking? first thing is to be sure that your menstrual cup has already popped out which means that it's open like this that it's not folded or that it doesn't look like this like it's already open and is collecting blood how you do this is as I showed you before you touch it around you also can turn it around something that I do is when I do this I wash my hands then I do it again and if there's more ball coming out then that might mean that I didn't insert my menstrual cup correctly it's very different to everyone in my case that works for me another thing that I do is I use a uh, toilet piece of paper and if there's more blood coming out it most certainly means that I put it in correctly because if there's more and more blood coming out it's just not normal it means that the menstrual cup is not collecting the blood like it might be like this when the blood is coming out like this so you'll have to experiment and get to know your body it's all trial and error and it requires a lot of patience but believe me once you get it once you know what works for you, how you have to insert it, how you avoid leaking, you're going to love it because you really, really forget that you're on your period. It has happened to me when I insert it correctly and it's the best feeling because it's just very, very comfortable, very practical. It's very important for you to measure your cervix before and for that you have to insert your fingers in your vagina to I like get to know the territory and know which size do you need in the case of organic cup they have information about that on their website you can also find YouTube videos that explain you how to do that how long can you let your menstrual cup in there's a lot of different information when it comes to this the maximum time recommended to let your menstrual cup in is 12 hours of course it depends if you have a very heavy flow you might have to change it before the 12 hours because your menstrual cup might get already full after i don't know six hours totally depends you have to see how your body works because your body and my body are not the same so just get to know your body and see for how long you can leave your menstrual cup in and when do you have to take it out Something that I saw in a YouTube video that I feel like it's a very good recommendation is that you can buy a normal size menstrual cup, for example, let's say the size A, and buy a mini cup. So then when you have a lower flow, you can switch to the mini cup and you won't have like the need to insert all of this inside for this much of blah like it's just not practical like who wants to have that much inside so if you don't have a problem with inserting the whole menstrual cup in like all of this and filling it up till here it's all up to you it's just a recommendation i think it's a very good tip and unfortunately i didn't think about that before so i bought <laughs> another menstrual cup for like of the same size so yeah for the moment i won't be buying another one how do you know when you have to take your menstrual cup out the best advice that i can give you is when you feel that there's like some sort of bubbles inside you it might be because your menstrual cup is getting full 
So you will have to change your menstrual cup pretty soon. If it has been a few hours and if it's leaking, there's a high probability that either you put it a little bit lower and like for example it's like this and then blood is coming out and you had to move it a little bit more like vertical or it's already full and you have to take it out, take the bloat out and wash it and then put it in again. How do you take your menstrual cup out without it hurting? The first time that I took my menstrual cup out, it hurt a lot. There were tears coming out and I'm not exaggerating, it hurt a lot. So I decided to do my research because it was it was very painful. So I, I was like, no, it cannot be this bad. Like there has to be a way of me taking out my menstrual cup and it not hurting that much. I stumbled into a YouTube video of a girl, I forgot her name, that she was explaining that when you when she takes her menstrual cup out, and I do that too now because it worked perfectly for me, you have your menstrual cup like this. Now, you're going to take these two fingers and you're going to put them inside of your vagina and you're going to hold the back of the menstrual cup. So basically how you do is you're going to do that. You're going to insert your fingers like this. It might feel gross if you don't like seeing blood, but at the end is your blood. So I don't see that as gross as your body. You'll get used to it. So you'll insert your fingers like that and you'll be touching the back of the menstrual cup like this but it's going to be inside so in order to be able to do this again you have to breathe you have to relax your muscles because if not it's going to hurt a lot and you might not be able to get till this point so just relax everything is going to be okay you're going to use your thumb to press in here and now you're going to do a fold with your index finger and you're going to have something looking like this like the u fold or c fold inside of you now you're going to push out sort of like if you're going to poop you push inhale exhale push inhale exhale push inhale exhale pull and you're going to have it like this so what i do in order for me to not get blood on my hands is i switch it like that so again you have it like this and i just boop, let all the blood come out this method helped me a lot because at first I don't remember exactly how I tried getting it out. I think I just tried doing this and the problem with it is that you have your menstrual cup like this and if you just press it, the menstrual cup looks like this from inside so when you take it out, it's going to be a little bit hard to get it out. Like You have to be really, really relaxed. If you're not relaxed, it's going to be really hard. So just inhale, exhale, there's no pressure. You'll get through. Once you get the hang of it, once you know how it works, it's going to go smoothly. Kind of funny because you feel like sort of like you're giving birth to a menstrual cup. Kind of weird, but yeah. I hope this works and just know that when you're using the menstrual cup, the most important thing is to relax inhale and exhale that's like the best tip that i can give you the best advice relax inhale exhale inhale exhale you push you just relax and you will see the difference if you're stressed out you're going to have a hard time but if you relax you will feel how everything like goes smoothly and you can take your menstrual cup out easier than if you're like a little stressed out and like you're muscles are all contracted one of the things that i wondered a lot before using the menstrual cup is can you exercise with the menstrual cup inside of you and the answer is yes you can run you can do handstands like you can do whatever you want to and 
it is very unlikely for it to leak. Based in my personal experience, I would say that it's okay to exercise. I searched online and there's a lot of people that say the same too, like there's no problem with you exercising. Try it out and like of course if you put it correctly there will be no problem. If you didn't or if you have to change it pretty soon, then if it's leaking it might be because of that. Can you poop with your menstrual cup in? Yes, you can do that. You're welcome. <laughs> Can you use the organic cup with an IUD? Yes, you can use the organic cup with an IUD. My final thoughts of using the menstrual cup for the past three months. Would I recommend you to switch to the menstrual cup? Yes, I love using the menstrual cup, even though it took me a while to get the menstrual cup in and it hurt a lot to take the menstrual cup out. It's all a learning process, but after three months, now I feel that it's easier for me to put it in and put it in and out. I have my tricks and tips. I learned how my body is like and that's very important and one of the things that I love about the menstrual cup. I got to know my body better thanks to the menstrual cup which was something that I didn't think about. I got to experience to like learn if I have a lower or higher cervix which I didn't know existed before and I will have to thank that to the menstrual cup because I don't know if I would have learned that if it wasn't for the menstrual cup. Menstrual cups versus pads, which is the best alternative? I can only talk from my personal experience which is using pads. I had never used a tampon. I lean more towards the menstrual cup because right now I fell in love with the product and it holds more liquid so you'll have to change your menstrual cup for less time than for example a pad yeah you can survive with one menstrual cup per day like you just wash it again you put it in and at night you can sterilize it if you have any questions tell me in the comment section i'll try to answer as many questions as i can if you want to see more content like this one or if you want to see how living abroad is like and lifestyle content, subscribe to my YouTube channel and activate the notification bell so that you will be the first one to know whenever I upload a new video. I upload videos every single week and I always keep you updated on my Instagram when I upload it or when I will upload a new video. Thanks a lot for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, if it was useful, and see you on my next video. Thank you.